Hello, YouTube. It's me, Hitsuko Neko, and uh, I've decided to do something that a lot of people would consider stupid. I personally consider it stupid, but I'll do it nonetheless. I have decided that I'm going to read every creepypasta from the lost episode category that I can get my hands on. I've been told that my voice could be soothing for readings, and I do love listening to creepypastas, and back when I was in high school, I used to read the Lost Episode creepypastas. Uh, all the ones that I could find, and I don't think the collection that I have found has all of them, because, oh boy, so many of them. Um, could not find the original creepypasta site that I used to use. Uh, it's been years, been years. And so, I do have a site, and so these aren't going to come out in any quick fashion, because there's a lot of them. And they are different lengths, but I will not just be reading the good ones. No, 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 no. That would be too easy. When I say all and every, I mean all and every. So I will be reading the cringe pasta, the troll pastas, everything. And it's going to hurt on the inside. <laughs> But if you would like to listen to me read, by all means, you can pop on in. And uh, yeah, I just don't know really what to say other than that. We will start off with Barely Breathing, Curse of the Mysterious Music video channel. Barely Breathing by Duncan Sheik was an alt-rock song released in 1996. It was Sheik's breakout hit, peaking at number 16 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and remaining on the chart for 55 weeks. At the time, it was the fourth longest running single on the Hot 100. It also reached number one on the Billboard Adult Alternative Songs chart and number 19 on the Billboard Hot Adult Contemporary chart. In 1997, it quickly became a favorite song of mine. I and my sister would wait for it on the radio and sing along to it. I hate this, it's written so poorly. However, shortly afterward, we had recently received new cable and a music video channel was on. For some reason, songs were in a different pitch, somewhat low-toned. Finding this odd, we asked my father, who shrugged and said, must be a glitch or something. Later on, we noticed at night, something very odd was happening. We were seeing a lot of music videos very differently from what they were shown on MTV. They had a darker vibe and were completely different. I and my sister saw three music videos that were premiering. Don't Speak by No Doubt, To Become One by the Spice Girls, and Barely Breathing by Duncan Sheik. We were excited that our favorite song was going to premiere its music video. Very briefly, a bloody skull popped up for a split second on TV, and I gasped. My sister asked, what is it? I replied, something just popped up, looked like a skull or something. Confused, we were about to see something utterly ghastly. Things were going to get even more terrifying. The first music video to play was No Doubt, Don't Speak. It was obvious that this was not the video we all know. The music was in a very deep pitch. The sound of flies buzzing blasted full force as we plugged our... So, so. The sound of flies buzzing blasted full force as we plugged our eyes, screaming. Graphic footage of maggots and flies popped on the screen. Gwen Stefani's soft voice sounded as low as Darth Vader as her face was superimposed on a fly's body as it laid maggots on a rotting apple. Her bandmates also appeared as flies as well. Suddenly before the chorus, a huge splat was heard as the flies of the bandmates guitarist Tom DeMont and bassist Tony Canal and drummer Aaron Young was smashed leaving a bloody, gooey mess as Gwen Fly flew away from the normal human Gwen Stefani throwing rotten apples at the Gwen Fly in an orange grove during a thunderstorm, referencing the album cover. Oh no. This is so bad. My sister ran out of the room screaming and crying, and I tried changing the channel, but it wouldn't work. My dad walks in and sees the horrific music video and shakes his head. He tried fixing it, but to no avail. The last image we see of that video is a smashed Gwyn fly with tears streaming from her compound eyes. I shouted, what kind of channel is this? 
The screen then glitched. It fast-forwarded itself and skipped the Spice Girls video. You could easily tell it was another video in the same vein as the previous. Finally, barely breathing came on. The video started in a graveyard. I found this clever at first, until I noticed the music was lower pitch. Camera lowered to show Duncan Sheik buried alive six feet under in a casket, pale, sweating as he calmly sang. As the song progressed, Duncan began slowly decomposing. His face shriveled up like a prune. He started to look like a corpse. I screamed out in horror. Snakes, maggots, spiders, worms, and beetles emerged from his mouth as he continued to sing, unaffected by this, as he tried to break from the coffin. I sobbed in terror. My sister was traumatized. My dad looked pale as a ghost. Keep in mind... <laughs> no! Keep in mind my dad is 6'5 and used to play in the NFL as a linebacker, but he was horrified at this. Seeing my dad scared fucked me up. I screamed out. I screamed out. Get rid of this cable box, I cried. My dad tried unplugging it, but got a mild electric shock. I looked up at the TV, and the song was now at its bridge, and Duncan Sheik was now a skeleton swarming with the insects and reptiles. Still singing. Still singing, but as a whole, is busted... Still singing, but as a whole, is busted through the coffin and dirt pours in. Duncan Sheik turned back to normal as a swarm vanishes and as the song finishes. Duncan Sheik emerges from the ground completely fine, dusts himself off, and walks away. My dad snaps and slams the cable box down. He finds a number and lets the company have it. They do not answer. My dad leaves a message. A woman picks up. She claims that the music video channel only airs music videos rejected by their record label due to being banned from MTV. The videos shown were directed by a famous music video director named Jonas Ackerland. My dad knew him, and they did not get along at all. I can't remember why. They explain that the concept of Duncan Sheik being buried alive goes with the name of the song. My dad screamed, Well, that doesn't mean he can be shown with all those bugs and snakes! and hung up. Found out my dad punched out Jonas Ackerland at a party, breaking his jaw. That's what you get for scaring my kids. We still joke about it to this day, though I've never found the original band version of Barely Breathing that I saw. Plus, I still get mild PTSD when I hear it. Well, that was bad. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. That's a one out of ten. Um. Oh, that is a one out of ten. Sorry, I have to go back up. The sound of flies buzzing blast full force as we plugged our eyes screaming. Oh, this is gonna be a long journey. Oh, I can feel it already. Well, I want to thank you all. Any of you. That, are, that actually was sat through that. This is the journey we're taking. I, I have no words. I, I want to thank anyone that actually sat through that. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. But I guess I'll talk to you guys later. And it's bye-bye for now. Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs>